Hello guys, Terror here. So uh, today I wanted to come with something special and uh, I wanted to uh, play through my old Doom 2 what? I created my own Doom 2 what? and this is my first ever creation. Um, it's been a couple of years since I've did it, uh, done it, sorry. And uh, today I'm back, decided to try it out, play it again because it's been a long time since I did it. So yeah, I hope you guys are uh, going to watch it with me. It took me three days or four days to create, I think, or maybe a week. I'm not actually too sure. There is 15 maps or 15 levels or whatever you want to say. And uh, it is supposed to be played with Brutal Doom or G Set Doom. Um, uh, just don't play it vanilla because uh, it, it was meant for Brutal Doom because that's what I used to play a lot back in the day. So I decided to create my own. But uh, yeah, guys, let's get started with the map. So I can't even remember much of it myself. But uh, let's get started. a lot of uh you can see there's a lot of uh imps back then i didn't know how to put in custom enemies what i really intended to do with this map was uh, not to like create a specific like uh, story but more like create something fun fast and uh I wanted to explore my ideas and map creation in Doom, so uh, the reason you'll end up seeing a lot of different kind of maps uh, and maps that don't play into each other is probably because back then I wanted to uh, to experiment with different kind of maps. Uh, some maps are more detailed than others, and that is one of the reasons as to why the maps look so different as they do. So as you can see here, the first map I managed to do the outdoor area. Uh, Kind of did okay. I like to uh, experiment because this was my first ever creation. So I experimented with the imps on top here and shotgunners or whatever you want to call them on the second floor. Did some detailing, put some water here and there. Pretty nice. And with Brutal Doom, it looks even better. So you want to open here and there's a couple of uh, some invincible enemies. I know of one specific guy that played through my uh, my map here, and he really didn't like these kinds of uh, kinds of uh, what is it called, invincible enemies. But if you're ever gonna watch this video, man, the reason I put them here is because I've never played the game before, and I didn't know how much people disliked it. So <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Keep going. Shit. That's a grenade. Go. Oh, got him. 75 health. So further, we're gonna have some more shit. I'm dying here. Not very good. I don't have any more ammo. Let's go. Grab some more ammo. Here we are. So yeah. Back in the day I... Oh yeah. One more thing by the way. Up here. Jump here. Okay. Go up here. And you can grab yourself a health pack. And... A mid kit. Anyway, a couple of things in here. Lots of ammo. Alright. Press F to turn on flashlight. In here. This is like a catacomb area. You go down into you explore further down. I had a lot of great ideas, I just on some maps I rushed too much. And I wanted to get it over with. On other maps, I did a lot of detailing. And you'll see the detailing by the later maps. And some of the first maps as well. So you go from an upside up there into like a catacomb area. Go to come to like a zombie place. Right here. And you'll explore further and further and further. Until you reach a kind of like entrance to some other place. And now you'll, now you'll get to what I call the... Entrance to the lab. I didn't even see him. Alright. Lots of imps again. As I said before, last time when I played this, I didn't quite remember uh, or didn't know how to add in custom maps, so I just decided to uh, do a ton of. Uh, 
I decided to do a ton of uh, of the same enemies. And back then I didn't know how good enemies were. Back then it was hard for me to understand what kind of enemies were the good ones and what kind of enemies were the harder ones and stuff like that. I thought M's back then were pretty decent. Alright, I wanna go here. I'm gonna grab the double barrel. Some double barrel. Yep, right here. Better. Yeah, it's been a while. You can see it's been a while since I... Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that's real loom for you. Alright, next level. It's the entryway, as I called it. Now we're going to underholes. Now, I remember this one as well. I remember it. I remember pretty much every single map now. And I watched the YouTuber here a couple of days ago, and that's actually because of him I wanted to go through my old maps again. It was fun. It's a lot of fun to watch, man. So if you wanna, uh, you wanna get together sometime and do some uh, content creation, let me know. <laughs> I don't know if you if he's still the YouTuber anymore. Actually, I didn't look into his channel more than than my own. Right. Again, lots of uh, lots of imps. As I get it, lots of imps because I didn't know how to. Uh, there were other other kinds of enemies that you could play around with. Outdoor area. It's uh, kind of optional. I want to do it or not? I'm just gonna leave it. All right. Got the launcher. It's a caca demon. Could be one more. Seems like weapon does a lot more damage in. Uh... Now these enemies, where you can actually see them, still, it's not as bad as the invincible. Oh shit. Oh god damn it. Oh shit. I actually hate him. Oh. You can see here there's a lot more weapons available to you. That is also one of the reasons as to why there's not that many weapons in the... Uh... The fuck? Hello? So fucking weird. All right, that's the that's part of the map. So now we're going to the gauntlet, the gantlet, or I wanted to call them. I got a lot of props on this map. I remember, because uh, one of the better outdoor areas that I've done. As you can see in, ouch! As you can see in this mode right here, Kaka demons are also. Can, they, they can also, what is it called? Uh, evade, evade your stuff, evade your bullets and shit like that. All right, I can put shit on fire, and uh, it's just it's that much better. Oh, there's a key behind here. Wanna go around here, grab all the, uh, grab some of the stuff here. All right. You don't need to kill everybody. It's one of the things that I maybe should have fixed. Maybe a door opening before. But, uh, yeah. I didn't kill everything, so... I remember this place right here. Going into, like, a uh, experimental cave again. Go this way. And I'm able to take out both of them. Alright. You can see here I managed to do some uh, lightning effect. It's really hard to do in this game, but, you know, somehow I managed to, so. It, it's not really that hard, but it's more like you don't have a lot of options. So I managed to place down these because they emit light. And, uh, yeah, there's also a lot of, uh... 
like also enemies can hit each other and when they get hit by each other they actually get mad at each other and shoot each other so yeah it's kind of funny Invincible enemies here, I remember. That I do remember. It's not that easy to forget. Alright, and that is that for this map. Now, the gauntlet, that was that. Moving on to the focus. As you can see, I'm experimenting with a lot of different maps. Uh, one of the problems that happened in this uh, map here, for an example, is that I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to make it... Not available to... Uh, to go away and, um, and press on the uh, on the button straight away, but back then I didn't put as much uh, into like uh, finding out how to to not do it. So you know, I actually wanted this one to like sh go off from the water, and then you'll be able to press it. But well, well, that's how it is, you know. So the focus, hundred percent done. I put him behind you on purpose because when you fall down, you expect something in front of you. Moving on to the next map, I wanted to do a different take on a uh, on a Nazi map. So I placed in I placed in these really strong enemies right here. You can see, and they they are really fucking strong. So the guy that played my map, he was uh, against some really easy. Easy ones, but if you played Brutal Doom, <laughs> these were the guys that you were up against. So yeah, it's a little bit harder than a... It's a little bit harder. Alright, so I want to reload this, and I'm gonna try my best to... As you can see, it's a little bit harder. Oh, it's a little laggy, actually. Holy shit. Alright. So yeah, we're still not done yet. Still have these kinds of enemies. It's an extremely hard map. It's one. It's an extremely, extremely hard map. Shit. Yeah. You know, I was kind of laughing to myself when I when he played this map because he was like, "Oh my god, this is so easy" and stuff like that. But I was like, "Wait, I remember, I remember differently because I didn't remember that there used to be these uh, Nazis from uh, what is it called from Wolfenstein 3D." I was more like, uh, "Wait, this didn't used to be this easy." But you can do a will these kind of weapons here. They're, they're used to... Is it done? Yep. This is was my first experiment with uh, doing these kinds of uh, doors. Holy shit. So laggy. Alright. And I wanted it to be hard, so I didn't place down as many uh, health kits and med kits. So, as you can see, there's a couple in between. As you might see here, I was uh, experimenting, so I placed all of them alongside this wall, so people that would be coming down here would, ex would 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 not expect them to be there, you know? And the same with this place right here. But imagine that I still remember this, it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Love that shotgun, it's so amazing. Alright, so now I'm doing the transition. I'm doing a transition from a Wolfenstein map to a uh, doing a transition from a Wolfenstein map to a Doom Doom map sort of. And people, when I looked at the YouTuber, he was really uh, like he didn't quite expect it, and he didn't quite uh, see what I meant to do with this place right here. But what I meant to do was do a transition from Wolfenstein to Doom. As you can see, the textures kind of change. Then it goes to full Doom right here. That's kind of funny. He goes to full doom now. Full doom. Alright, this is the. Uh, I actually, I actually wanted to fix that. 
I wanted to fix that medkit right there, but I never got around to doing so because, well, back then I was, I was experimenting with a lot of other things. As you can see here, we are about to finish this map, and there is like it's so pale. There is nothing around it. There's no detailing. So yeah. All right. So that's the waste tunnels. Now we go into the crusher. All right. Here we go. As you can see, it looks it looks a lot different. When he played, he said he. <clears throat> when he played, he said he couldn't make out the difference. Well, it was hard for him to make out the difference between a uh, a a wall or door or whatever than to the original kind of a uh, thing. So yeah, you know, it's a little bit easier with this this texture. Just a little bit easier. As you can see, the, the blood like kind of flows on the walls. It looks really dope, man. It looks so nice. You know, I'm kind of... I'm. Um, you should play it again, but with, with Brutal Doom installed, you know? I kind of wanted it to try it with Brutal Doom. So, again, plenty of uh, resources, plenty of medkits. Right, can't open area. So what I need now is a key. Got that key here. You know, one thing that, uh, in here, when you meet the Baron. Now, actually, in, in uh, my original plan was for this door to close and from enemies to come from here and here, but it's just never... It just never happened. I never got around to doing it, but my original plan was actually to put a trap there so you couldn't like get past it so easily, you know? Again, with the imps. Lots of imps. That was like kind of the only enemies that I didn't have a lot to play around with back then. Are we going up? See, everything looks a little bit better. So this is this map. Crusher. And Dead Symbol. Going into Dead Symbol. You have entered deeply into the infested starport. Something is wrong. Well, this is not mine. But as you can see here, this time I did a lot of... Uh, a lot of detailing with the ground. I wanted to experiment with the grounds, so that's it. I wanted to experiment with switches, so I decided to put a switch here. Now, I wanted to do so it like fill. So this actually matches this right here. So it's like it fell down and it rained with blood or whatever. Something along those lines. Now, I wanted this place right here to be like a uh, transportation area, like where there's forklifts and shit like that, that goes in and take these kind of crates. Once again, I didn't manage to... Lots of blood. And also they do a lot more damage. Now here in here is the first time you're gonna meet a meet a uh, I actually don't remember what they're called. If you're trying to open the door without that switch being pressed, you cannot do anything. You have to go and find that place and do the switch. Oh. And flash shot, there we go. And press the switch. That's that map. So as you can see, what I meant in to start with the different kinds of maps is that 
you know, I wanted to do a lot of different kinds of maps and not just focus on one simple thing and just go with that. I wanted to be able to, uh, I wanted to be able to, to kind of do how I want to do stuff and just create a lot of different maps and experiment, experiment with a lot of different things. As you can see here, I did a lot of uh, detailing in the first room. Did place some torches down, did some water around here. Went up here, made a door here. Actually, watch. I did a lot of stuff here. Did a kind of like a, a, a fire thing here. Whatever. It looked, looked kind of cool. These kind of things here drop uh, blood from them. And, you know? I did some. Uh, did shadows here. Shadows here. I'm gonna go up here. There's this one, and it opens a door here with a lot of new enemies. Well, not new enemies, but you know what I mean. All right. Down here is water as well. I managed to. Uh... I wanted to play around with the shadows, so I did like kind of six axe shadows. I think it worked out pretty decent. Put Baron right here. Sometimes it lacks a lot. I don't know why. A lot of particles. Also, I'm doing an ultra white, so that could actually be one of the reasons as to why it's lacking so much. All right, and here we go with the. Uh, this is a new method of testing how to jump down stuff. Well, it was kind of like an ending. I wanted to see if I could end stuff uh, differently, and I managed to. Do that kind of ending so you jumped into a pit and the next map is called the pit i wanted to do something different here i wanted to do a jump puzzle i haven't seen those a lot so i wanted to experiment with experiment with jumping puzzles and uh, this is what i got from it i got a lot of shit from uh from some people but other people liked it a lot and uh yeah oh sh okay yeah I wanted to see if you could do like an instant death here, but I didn't know how to do it, so the thing you had to do was just to wait it out or kill yourself. Alright, so let's try again. I kind of like jumping puzzles, that's why I also put one here. Oh, sh are you serious? I like a no clip into it. Alright, here we go. So, you get to here. Get to here. You just go into this wall right here and you finish the map. Alright. Refueling base. Alright, here we go. Next map. Hey, you can press R on that. I actually didn't know. First trap I wanted to play with, that you entered this uh, kind of trigger. Right, both there. And of course, the harder the map is. Or the harder difficulty, the worse it's gonna get with the different kinds of enemies and stuff like that. So here you have two opportunities. You have the opportunity to press the right one. Or you have the opportunity to press the right one. You decide for yourself which one you want to press, but one of them is gonna be a trap, which you just saw there. Alright. Down here is uh, it's nothing. Yeah, nothing here. Just a place for you to go and... Now here, I could do one or two things. I could make it go down as soon as you enter, but I thought that would be too OP, so... Uh... But I did thought about it, that that should close as soon as that entered, that one. Alright, and that's that for this map. As you can see, there's a lot of small maps, and there's a lot of uh, like kind of experiments going on. So again, with the detailing, Wanted to do some details, just place some cans in there, or like some barrels. Wanted to do a kind of like sewer system. 
and I did a hole and that block kind of fell down into the map, you know? Wanted to do like a little place here where you could gather some HP, like a mana pool, sort of like that, you know? I think there's a... no. Bitch. So yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of different things here. As you can see, there's a... A little bit weird that I can shoot them from that long distance. But... Now I have a little funny thing here. So... A guy that the guy that played uh, guy that played my map, or is a guy that played my map, and he said he wanted one of the enemies to run along this right here, and actually I placed an enemy on top of here, but for some reason I just couldn't get it to work. Like the he would keep jumping. I, I actually don't remember, but I think he was keep coming down, and I didn't think about adding invincible walls and stuff like that. So. But my plan was for him to actually spawn here as soon as you entered, like, here. And something would come up here. As you can see, there is also a reason as to why there is, like, a uh, different than light. It's because of that. And, uh, yeah. We got two instead. The Archwild. That's what they were called. Arch. Alright, grab that. So laggy, man. It's so laggy. Oh, what the fuck? I actually died? Well, guys, as you can see, I'm at the end of the map. And, uh... I'm at the end of the map. I can show you real fast I, what I did. So I have a no clip on right now. I did some, uh, oh. Did some testing with the uh, different kinds of uh, stuff here. I did some testing with a little cave here. There is nothing in it. Uh, lots of testing with lots of different things. Another outdoor area. People seem to like those outdoor areas. So yeah. Anyway, turn off no clip. And let's go. The factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Once again, starting in a really uh, detailed room. Some things up there, some light here, some kind of walls right there. Alright, grabbing some Aegir healing potions. wanted to get some extra stuff, you could open these. If you sell some extra stuff right here. Or healing, actually. What it is. Well, that. Lots of experimenting again with stuff. An incredibly overpowered weapon. Like a Spaz 12 something. Really OP. Also Ricky in here. And I thought to myself, yeah, I wanted to do something right there, but I just never got around to doing it. Uh, lots of imps here.
Good fun. Lots of blood. It's really nice. Alright, going into downtown. Now this one right here, my friends, is fucking hard. If you're playing Brutal Doom. Or at least it used to be. I actually don't know if it is anymore. Ah, yeah, okay, um, okay, so what we're gonna do, and I thought it would be too OP, or, uh, thought it would be too OP with, like, too much going on, so I, what I really wanted people to do is actually just run, but I don't expect some people to uh, to do that. So they would just fight their way through it. And it becomes easier and easier the further down you get. Ouch. I gotta be a little bit careful now, I only have 36 HP, so... Good. Oh! Okay. Sorry if I'm not speaking a lot, it's just, uh, it takes a little bit of concentration sometimes. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I hate it, man. Ah, what? Oh, no. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just run. Yeah, okay. Um. <sighs> Let's try again. Alright, here we go. See, sometimes it actually takes a little bit of luck as well to get through that. Yeah, I did this well. So this one, I actually put in a lot of, uh, I put in a lot of work. Um, in the terms of, uh, what's it called? In terms of detailing. I wanted to do like a, some kind of like spooky house. And uh, I think I did pretty good with it, actually. All right there. Doors right here. Holy shit, man, I'm so fucking bad at this game, man. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Alright, there we go. I love this weapon. So good. Fucking hell, man. Oh shit. What I like is that things like fall off oh shit. Fall off the floor and ceiling and the walls and stuff like that. I really like it. That's why I really prefer to 
people to play with their set doom and brutal doom at the same time. Down here, nothing. I actually want to do a kind of like a secret up here, but I just never really get around to doing it. All right. Thing here opens that. Did I pick up the? Yes, I did. Then why can I not enter? Oh yeah, it's right here. Right, did some flags right there. Let's go. Alright. That was it. It's hit. I like this transition right here. As I said, I put in a lot of work on this map. I really wanted it to. I really wanted to play around with the detailing. Alright, you enter this one and you enter the you will you complete the map. Industrial zone. Another map that I didn't put a lot of effort into. This is like a Baron map. Or Hell Knight, sorry. Oh shit, okay, yeah, yeah. I fucked up. Wanna grab the uh, rocket launcher again? grab the uh, here so I can run on the yeah this map was I think actually this is the end one of the... I wanted to make this map really hard because uh, you know it's one of the last maps that you're gonna play You know, even though they only... What, what? Alright, so I'm gonna just, uh... <laughs> Fucking bad, man. I'm gonna no-clip here. <laughs> no, I'm gonna god. Alright, there we go. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna... Alright. Can't even complete my own map. I actually hate that weapon. It's so fucking bad. I like how the enemies can like attack each other. More invincible enemies. And here. The uh the YouTuber that played this map right here. Do you realize how lucky he was? When he, like, he pressed and he stepped back. I have no more ammo. So, yeah. When it is brutal doom, it is fucking brutal, and it's really fucking hard. Like it actually, this map is actually really damn hard when it is.
All right, but that's it. And that should be it for all the maps. It is. It is. Yep, it is. I, did I create this? Oh, no, 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 I didn't. <laughs> well, guys. Um... Let me know what you think in the comments below about this. I, I might consider starting doing a series where I test out different mods and I test out different uh, watts. So if you want your uh, watt tested, let me know in the comments below and I'll test it, no matter how bad it is or how good it is. Uh, I'm going to share my opinion on the watt and uh, I'm going to play it with whatever your mod you wanted, uh, want me to play it with. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.